Is this gray-haired romance novelist a grieving widow or a calculated murderer? Nancy Brophy is author of such steamy romance books as The Wrong Husband and The Wrong Lover, and also an article titled, get this, How to Murder Your Husband. Now she's accused of doing just that, gunning down her husband of 26 years. Nancy shot him first in the back. But the defense paints a much different picture, that of the bereaved wife, shattered by the loss of her slain husband, Daniel Brophy. Nancy Crampton Brophy has always been thoroughly, madly, crazy in love with Daniel Brophy, and she still is today. In the 2011 How to Murder Your Husband article, Nancy Brophy writes, a spouse who commits mariticide will almost certainly become a prime suspect. To get off, the wife must be organized, ruthless, and very clever. Seven years later, her husband winds up brutally murdered inside the kitchen of a Portland, Oregon Culinary Institute where he taught cooking. We're given four dozen oysters to each team. See who's done first. On the morning of the murder, police say Nancy Brophy told them she was still in bed when her husband was gunned down. But then came a shocking discovery, surveillance footage that prosecutors say ties her to the scene of the crime. The footage shows Nancy Brophy driving by the culinary school around the time of the slaying. She is then seen on numerous cameras around the area of the Oregon Culinary Institute. On the stand, the novelist admitted she was driving the vehicle, but claimed she had no memory of being there. It's always a risk for a defendant to take the stand. I don't think she did well. For a defendant to get on the stand and says, I have gaps in my memory, how convenient, how convenient that you don't remember just the most important parts of this story.